to upload this morning is with regard to the actual content that I'm sharing with regard to the offences occurring for the interest of the United Nations. Um, there's a little issue about uh, creative individuals editing these uploads and that are trying to um, compile an edited version of um, my share and uploads regarding their offences uh, with um, an offensive twist and that are using my words and um, uploads to um, alter um, and compile um, offensive material. Um, there's a lot of editing and altering going on, not only of the sacred light that they damaged from my child and I, which is already quite serious for any establishment to be ignoring, but the very fact that they're in this building. I'm wondering what the guards and the government are doing about this situation. Um, as I've mentioned, I'm, I've worked with three state departments since I was 23. I haven't got a criminal track record and um, my child is unlawfully separated from me. So there are, as I've said, four apartments in this building. This is social housing and my property is in Artfart and Kilflin. Now there's unlawful actions with regard to my marital property and my son. And ombudsmen and politicians have been made aware since 2017. And there are culprits in my proximity. And due to the simple fact, not only that I am of royal descent, and a sacred, a sacred sentient being and of humanitarianism and recovery that has worked for positive societal developments. There are culprits in my proximity that are stealing wealth and property and claiming ownership of work that they haven't done. Now, I am of language and cultural studies from the University of Limerick. And um, I am a creative artist, I'm a photographer and Mamu Monologues is one of my little pieces that I've been working on as a soliloquy, uh, Mamu Monologues and um, a few other little pieces. Um, these are all creative expressions of mine and there are individuals that have been of creative theft and human rights abuses and taking credit for work that I've done in society. So I'm just wondering what culprits are doing in this building, falsifying information and altering information and stealing property that doesn't belong to them and exacerbating their offences. I'm wondering what the relevant agencies and establishments are doing about the protection measures and privacy measures and proximity measures that I'm fully entitled to. So as I've said, there were people negotiating and bargaining their way out of the trouble that they've caused, which has damaged nature and society and jurisdiction. Their offences have damaged women and children's rights. So I'm just wondering about the level of IQ. Damaging sacred light is quite serious and damaging a royal child is quite serious. And falsifying information about any such circumstances is all very serious. So the people that are in my proximity that have no right to be in my proximity since 2006 with their slander and their false claims and their offences against my child and I that are treasonous. I'm really concerned what the relevant establishments are doing about liabilities altering and editing, not just sacred light, but damaging my creative work and altering creative work and expression from a human rights abuse that they are conducting that violates spirituality and thought processing with their artificial developments. My thought processes with these people in my proximity and them damaging my bodily integrity That's a human right abuse. I'm fully aware of the culprits and the agencies that were involved in damaging my child in my proximity are not within remit either. So there are some developments in society that aren't very helpful to humanity. 
and those altering and editing these uploads to uh, produce offensive material. It's a concern I'm wondering what the government are doing about since there's been two impact statements, ombudsman procedures and an ECHR application. So as a woman of a completely clean track record, I'm wondering how my societal developments and my beautiful child and property are being accessed by these people. So I'm wondering, would the guards kindly remove the individuals in my proximity? And I'd also like to be reimbursed by the agencies and establishments that, bod that cause bodily integrity damages and offences to my child and I. It's very simple. Legal representation has been withheld in a democracy. And there are people taking ownership of circumstances that they have absolutely no safety in doing so with. Would the Honourable Government mind addressing the liabilities in a democracy that are altering and editing information and producing falsified offensive material and perpetrating creative and intellectual theft and taking credit for work in society that they haven't been doing? They've wreaked havoc. And as regards the material of my child, the content of my son, unlawfully withheld from his mother, that material that was publicised. I hope the European Court of Human Rights realise the extent of disgusting and dirty behaviours I've experienced. A child being publicised, being offended online, in an unlawful state care placement, unlawfully withheld from his mother, is not very safe behaviour for any establishment to be conducting. 